Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today I'm going to be showing all the times I've gone from noob to pro in the game over the last few months. And since I've done that a lot of times, this video is quite long, so make sure to sit back, relax, get some popcorn, do some homework, or just enjoy the video. And so without further ado, let's go from noob to pro in Arm Wrestling Simulator. Today I'm going to be transforming from the biggest noob in Arm Wrestling Simulator to the ultimate pro. Now you guys can tell just how big of a noob I am because I already have five strength because I kept accidentally clicking on the screen, but I think it's time we actually curl our biceps and start getting some massive muscles. All right, so we need 33 more bicep power to get a bigger dumbbell. What about hand grip strength? Oh, same thing. 50 bicep power. We got this. Oh, wait, this is so much faster. All right. Just kidding. That was knuckle strength. That's not at all what I needed. You guys can tell how big of a noob I am. I don't even know how to curl this dumbbell. Dude, what is this guy? Why is this bully looking at me like that, huh? Dude, he's got a duck too. Yo, he's got to go down. I'm the only duck in here. Oh, come on, dude. That was, okay, I was going to say that's too easy. <laughs> that wasn't easy at all. Let's get this two kilogram dumbbell up and running so that we can become the ultimate duck. Ooh, free gifts. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, I think doubling up everything would help us massively. So let's go ahead, auto train our biceps with our doubled strength. We're gonna be a pro in no time. Oh, we get an uncommon pair. I didn't even know how that happened. Times 2.6x? Oh, this little square dude's helping us out so much. Oh, only 500 strength to destroy this teacher? Yeah, you're going down, buddy. You're going down. Ooh, he still put up a fight. We can go ahead and hatch our first egg, though. And come on, give me something rare. Ah, oh, uncommon deer, I'll take it. As it still gives another 2x multiplier. And these two pets, come on. You gotta give me the boost I need. You gotta give me the help I need. Oh, tap it so fast. He's so old. Dude, he's strong. He's buff. He's absolutely ripped. Yeah. Ooh, newly unlocked three kilogram dumbbell. I wonder if I run in a circle, if it makes me uh, any faster, any stronger. Probably not, but it is fun to do. Ooh, we've upgraded from a purple to a blue dumbbell, which means this gym rat is going down. Let's get him out of here. Let's send him back home crying to his mama. Oh my. Dude, I had to tap 7.8 times a second. 25 wins, though, gets us to this egg again. Give me some good bear slime. Squirrel, that's the opposite of a bear slime. Gonna quickly do some auto fights here with this gym rat so that we can get a ton of wins and hopefully get some super powerful pets. Ooh, a rust key. I have no clue what that is. Okay, lava egg. You better give me this elephant or I'm gonna be... Ooh, also take an epic monkey pet. Oh, would I like to buy plus two pets equipped? You bet I am. Because I need that baby monkey a part of my little squad back here. We got a whole freaking farm going on. Where the duck is the leader and the rest of the animals of the forest just chilling behind me. Oh my gosh, plus 100 strength every time we curl this dumbbell. How am I still a noob though? That's insane. Wait, this guy's a noob and he has 450,000 strength? Dude, I have so far to go. Oh, is there a new beast pet? Flame Beast 4X multiplier. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, dude. Our strength is climbing so quickly. Yo, look at my little squirrel buddy. He's cheering me on. He's saying, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, wait. I've heard of these rebirths. I've never actually done it before in a game, but I feel like auto rebirthing would be the best move here. Let's go and pick it up. Turn it on. And no, oh, we're back to rookie. Isn't that below noob? You're kidding me. Oh my gosh, we get 500 bicep power per curl. All right, we just hit 86,000 strength, the recommended strength to beat this mafia boss. Come on. Oh my God, the light work, light work. Get out of here, do an absolute chump. Plus 125 wins. That's insane. I can get so many pets. No. Wait, he just absolutely demolished me. How did that happen? Oh, I rebirthed. Oh, that's interesting. All right, well, back to the weight room I go. I just picked up the VIP and we are now earning 3,000 power per curl, over 1,000 knuckle strength per punch, and 2,000 hand strength every single time. Yeah, Mr. Champion, you're going down real soon. 
It's about to happen. The one million strength. <laughs> Mr. Champion, you are going down, my friend. Oh, he's putting up a fight. He's putting up a fight, but it's no match for the big quacks. Oh, let's go. Can I escape school? Oh, I need 15,000 wins. Well, I think this double wins perk will help me out escaping the school. Just a few more fights against the champion and we'll be on our way. 16,000 is more than enough. Let's go ahead. Huh? Oh, where are we? I need 2 million wins for the best egg. Oh, I have so much grinding to do. And I need 20 million wins for the next stage. Okay, let's see how hard this starter boss is. Oh my, dude, I just got absolutely smacked. I think it's time to rebirth a few times. Ooh, we moved up to amateur. We're getting 15,000 per punch. Whoa. Come on, good pet, good pet wolf. That's the absolute worst. Still a 4X multiplier, I'll take it. All right, Mr. Scrap Trader, coming back with five million. Oh, it's so close, it's so close. Nah, he's got me beat. All right, a million has to be more than enough. Oh, yes. Come on, we're almost there. How many wins is this going to be? 6,000. Wait, I just realized if I get these 12 event eggs, the lowest multiplier is 68x going up to 7,500. Oh, that's actually the worst, I think. Wait, no, 85x. This is amazing. I'm so smart for this. Wait, let's just see right now. Oh my gosh, we now get 600% more strength than before. And we still have seven pets to go. Okay, now we're actually chilling. Look at all these dudes behind me. 1.4 million per punch. Yeah, we're gonna be out of this gym in literally no time. We can now actually take on the cyber cop as well. Light work, easy work, too easy. 30,000 wins. But I don't care about the cyber cop because we need to absolutely destroy this rogue AI. But 120 billion strength is crazy. I was wondering where all these crates and things were. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, my dude, imagine plus 500%. Plus 12%, pretty mid. Ooh, plus 30%. Okay, last one. All right, yeah, just pretty much trash. All right, 900 million strength. Silencer assassin in the bag. So in the bag. So secured. 150,000 wins. That's a full rebirth right there. I have to feel we're so close to being pro. All right, after auto battling Mr. Cyber Assassin, we have 10 million wins. And I have no clue how many rebirths this will get us. Only 200,000 from skill to expert. We are now elite. We're about to be a veteran. We're about to be a champion. Oh my gosh. Are we going to hit pro already? This is so fast. Oh, I think there's two more levels until we become pro. Now I just have to get literally all of my strength back because it's all gone. A few moments later. Oh my gosh. I was just testing to see if I could do this. It's such a grind. My arm is hurting and I'm using the auto click. Oh no, it's slipping. My mouse is slipping out of my hand. What is happening? I need these wins. I need these wins so bad. Oh my gosh. It's been going on, dude. I can't. I literally can't. Please. Oh. Oh, don't no, give me that. I'm losing, dude. Oh, my. I'm literally sweating. I did not think I could win. We do get an event egg, which is super sick because that's the reason I wanted to grind this guy because hopefully we can get this 7,500 X pet to breeze through the rogue AI and move on to one of the final gyms and our hand strength. Okay, I think if we auto fight the Ripper Doc, not only do we get one event egg every time we beat him, but also we can hopefully get enough wins to when I come back from lunch in like 30 minutes, we can rebirth all the way up to the pro level, which would be pretty insane because before today, I had never even played this game. So I'll see you guys in about half an hour. Many, many minutes later. Okay, it was a short lunch and I guess I had auto hatch on because we managed to get three frost tigers. 
Oh yeah, now we're making over 10 million strength every time we use this, which is perfect because there are 86 million wins. We can go from Grandmaster to Legend and to Prodigy, which I would consider Pro because it literally has Pro as the first three letters of the name. But because we have so many extra wins, we're going to continue on to Titan, Paragon, Immortal, and oh, we're, oh, we could do Deity. Just kidding. We can't do Deity because we can't even beat anyone. Actually, rather than doing Deity, I think getting a Silver Crate would be beneficial, even if we get the worst arm. Oh my gosh, just when we needed our luck. We finally get something. I had a plus 20% increase arm and our buff bulk gives us 170. Dude, why is that so? Oh, okay. This is not really working out with my outfit. What is happening? All I know is the 150% boost is going to be huge. All that I think is left for me to feed the rogue AI and to escape this gym is to get around 100 billion strength. I'm using the best arm, the best trail that I can afford, 17 different pets. And these enchantments over here just don't seem like they'd actually help me. Whoa. A golden pet. I have a ton of extra of these. Don't mind me. What if I craft this into a big one? We have three bigs. What if we craft it into a huge 170x? Yo, he's so big. I've been wondering how you did that. Let's get another huge. Wait, what if we get a huge baby frost element? I just said element. I meant elephant. Oh, that sucks. But now I finally am understanding things. And with this 8x hatching perk, this should make getting gold, big, and huge pets way easier. Oh, okay. I don't even know what I got. That's unfortunate. Okay, 70 billion strength. We're using the auto fight feature to give us some extra tapping power. Oh, we're slowly making ground. Nine clicks a second. Ah, but we aren't fast enough. Back to the hand grips we go. Oh, this is it. This is it. 80 billion strength. We're making so much progress. The rogue AI. He's going down. He's going down any second. He's putting up a fight. Oh, eight and a half taps a second. I should have used the auto click. We're almost there. It literally touched his eyeball. 3.75 million wins. The rogue AI has fallen, but I think to farm the last 6 million wins, we need to become a certified pro. We are going to do via the Ripper dock. And there we have it. The final arm wrestle needed to get to 20 million wins. Oh my gosh. Let's finally escape this gym. We were here for so long. Oh, the sunny outdoors. This is beautiful. And you know what? We'll end off the video with one more rebirth. Let me go get 10 million wins. Let's go. 43 million Let's rebirth one last time to Didi. And I think you could say that we have quickly gone from noob to pro in Arm Wrestling Simulator. Welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today I'm going to try to beat the entire game and the final boss in World 5 as a noob. If you guys saw my last video, then you'll know that this is my first ever time playing a simulator game in Roblox. And while well, we got to the third world and we made some good progress, as you can see, by our 44 trillion strength, but we still haven't been able to unlock lock the nuclear bunker as you can see we still have to get five trillion wins and defeat the final boss on this level and so there's still a ton of things i don't know about this game and i'm gonna do my absolute best to grind my way to the top to get to world five and we have some decent arms and some decent pets that we were able to gather in the last video but still i keep seeing a bunch of people running around in my lobbies with the most insane pets and we're only at a 360 percent rebirth boost so I think we're going to go ahead and try to rebirth as much as we can. And we're going to skip on super rebirthing because I don't want to start all the way from scratch and have to regrind all of my wins. That's definitely not something I want to do, but maybe we'll do that later on for a different video. So make sure you guys are subscribed to see that. So let's see how far can we actually get? We still have a ton of wins left. Okay. Supreme being that's not actually too bad. 630% boost. I will take it. And now we are back to zero strength. The lovely land of being absolutely super. Per week.
Okay, so let's chuck on our arm, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it does make my character look a little weird, but it does give us a 400% boost. So let's see how much are we getting per hand strength. Oh, it's just not working. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, almost a billion strength per rep. And we're getting like 10 billion strength for our overall total. That's just pretty solid. Now, I really want to get some better pets. And I'm trying to decide if these eggs are worth it. We have 31 billion wins. And so we can open around 10 of these king fish eggs or two of these Poseidon eggs. And the odds aren't amazing. So we might come back to that a little bit later. As we're going to try for the king fish egg and we oh we get actually one legendary hooky which is pretty bad or hooky but we already have like eight of them so it's not an amazing upgrade but let's see can we craft some of these into bigs uh all right yeah that's some some pretty decent upgrades we get an extra like i don't know 10 percent boost on our hand strength all i know is that for the very final worlds we need quadrillions and quint billions of strength to actually beat the bosses so we are so far away and uh still yet to get any diamond crates or diamond crate keys unfortunately but i think saving up for a good trail would probably be better than chancing it on one of those crates a few moments later okay let's see friendly shark oh wait that's a mistake 189 trillion okay that was uh not supposed to happen we're just about 100 times weaker than the shark so let's go trade up a little bit more before we try to grind some wins on him oh but i also also did just realize we have 500 frost eggs we can still hatch and i did splurge on the auto hatch and the 8x open so we should be able to breeze through them if we can get the 7500x multiplier boost pet we would be absolutely chilling but let's see what we can get five minutes later okay after everything said and done oh we managed to get three frost jellyfish which they're now my number one best pet by honestly a landslide so that was huge opening up 500 of those it might be worth it for me to go back and start grinding those event eggs because pets are definitely the number one way i can easily beat this game and compared to some of the crazy pets out there we are super lacking in our pet department i mean there's pets out there with like a million multiplier and we're chilling with 600 1200 x as the max come on man we gotta do better than that but with our new pets equipped let's grind out some strength a little bit so we can rack up those wins big news ladies and gentlemen it's been a few days but that honestly helps me out so much because there is a new volcanic egg event and these multiple players for pets are absolute insanity five percent chance to get a 2000x lava tiger if i show you guys my top pet my top pet is 1200 x so that would be insane and it's five percent chance i have 158 eggs and uh we're just gonna go ahead and run this event all day long i'm literally gonna complete this a thousand times try to do my best to open as many of these eggs as possible and then there's something i have in store to also speed it up a bit but let me run through all these eggs really quick and see if we can't get lucky getting some lava foxes which i believe even those are yeah whoa no wait 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 we got him 2000 what i didn't even see that 2000 x oh my gosh what do we do now what is auto train that was literally i know it was a billion before but that was a 2x weekend that was just 600 million we have now almost doubled our production and that was off of like 50 eggs oh my gosh this event's op oh another lava tiger let's go <gasps> no way the lava dragon epic isn't that like super duper rare point five percent chance and it has a best friend five which i think means it's as good as your best pet but because it's literally my best pet i don't think that does anything no way what about now what about now 1.8 billion we went up four times get out of here braveheart dude i'm gonna beat the game in freaking no time oh my gosh now i don't know if this will be smart but what if i craft all and equip best. Oh, we actually went down some. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's without the dragon. Oh, we went up just a little bit. But we're not looking to get strength right now. We're going to go grind out like a thousand wins on this event. But before we do that, we're also going to get the double fighting strength, which should help us out a lot, not only in this realm, but should help us out tremendously in every realm. Because now we defeat bosses twice as easily, which means maybe can we actually try the friendly shark we're just a few points lower oh we can maybe get him something i've wanted to be getting for a while is the op click i have no clue if this is good it could be a waste of 700 robux but we have to try it out turn it on how many clicks per second 12 that's insane why have i not been using that oh my gosh yeah wow we just made huge leaps and bounds and if we have this on not only do we get 3 billion wins 
Every time we smack this guy, we also get an event egg, which once again is how we get all these OP insane pets. Okay, yeah, we are chilling. We're gonna be out of this in no time. All right, we didn't get a thousand eggs, but we did get over 300, which means we should almost be guaranteed another lava dragon. And we also got two trillion wins. So really at this point, oh, wait, lava tiger, that's good with the, uh, with the wind thing, that's huge. Oh, we did get another lava dragon, but they don't even pop up when you get them. Oh, we just got another one. What the heck? We just got three. Dude, I knew this was the move. Bro, a fourth one. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. Yo, get out of here, lava tiger. Gotta make way for the fourth baby lava dragon. Let's go. All right, let's see. Kraken boss with OP auto click. Oh, we're, we're still getting absolutely annihilated. Jeez. And after some quick math, we should be able to defeat the final Kraken boss in just around 30 more minutes of training. And dude, I look so funny with my arms on, man. But I I need the arms for the strength. Come on. Oh, gamers, we've been grinding 1.1 quadrillion strength. We're slowly inching up this green bar. I'm probably gonna have to wait a minute for us to get this win, but I'm dying to see how many wins we're actually gonna get from defeating the Kraken boss. Oh, we're almost there. The Kraken boss is about to go down. 57 billion wins. Whoa. That was insane. All we have left to do is to get an extra 3.2 trillion wins and we can move on to the bunker. So to make this a little faster, we're just gonna train up a, another probably three or 400 trillion strength and the Kraken boss will be no match for me. Not only did we have five trillion wins, we absolutely smashed through it hitting 6.8 trillion. Oh, let's go the nuclear bunker. Bro, I need 50 quintillion wins. And I'm 99% sure I'm not even gonna be able to fight this guy. But let's give it a go with our OP. Oh my, wait, no, we actually got him. It's a glitch. We got him easy. 81 billion wins. Hazmat medium. Oh no, we're 100% losing to this fella. Yep, look at that. No, dude. Oh my, dude, we are making five times as, wait, no. Yeah, five times as much strength as we were before. And folks, I've been wanting to do this since the day I started playing this game. We have one diamond key, seven trillion wins. We're gonna go ahead and buy one diamond crate. Come on, give me something. That's, that's literally like the, no, it's like, it's not the worst arm. Second worst arm. We already had a 420% boost, so 545 is definitely helpful because that boosts our strength by an extra like 25%. I'm also curious to see just how good the rust eggs are. We get a Cal Raider Epic. I, oh, 10%. That's actually a really rare one. Oh my gosh, it's only 410x. These lava tigers are 2000x. Okay, so it's not even even slightly worth it for us to grind these eggs, which kind of sucks, but what is this? Cure pets? Oh, mutate. Oh, we get to combine two pets together? Okay, but like, what does this even do? I don't know what I just did. Glowing. He's glowing now. Okay. Successfully mutated. Okay. Glowing. Oh, did he just go up? I think he went up an extra like 20%. Can I even see him back there? They all look the same. When I tell you I've been grinding, I've been absolute grinding. I've gone ahead and got 21 lava dragon pets. I have enchanted all of them, or I guess upgraded all of them in that weird enchanter over there. We are now getting with the big dumbbell 1.2 trillion every two seconds. But I've also been grinding the brand new blueprint prince feature and i just unlocked the 100 000 x huge quest dragon oh my gosh if i'm doing my math right these all have best friend five which i think makes them as good as your best pet by 75 percent so all these should turn into 7500 or 75,000 x multipliers and we should see this 1.2 trillion just done all this with this assumption okay six trillion that's 5x that's a lot okay it's not as much as i was thinking but can we go ahead unequip this and then also enchant oh we can enchant this i know we can disenchant it i think so i'm not actually like screwing myself by any means i think this is like a 20 percent increase it's not amazing but once again with the best friends five yeah 20 percent increase go from six to 7.2 there it is that's a six x increase in our strength oh my goodness i spent so long grinding that and i think we've just secured ourselves an easy path to beat mr bulk and then a super easy path to beat mr 
Mutant King. Obviously, you guys can probably tell I'm a little bit noobish because I haven't been doing this by the books. I haven't really purchased any of these eggs, even though I have six quadrillion. And that's because I just kind of grinded out, like, unironically, 10,000 of these event eggs. That's how I was able to get all of these pets. It took me around a day or so of just grinding the event nonstop. We also got some pretty good, huge lava tiger pets and upgraded enchant in some of them. So, yeah, if you guys want to do what I did, I basically just stayed on for a long time, AFK, got my 60 tickets would go uh, spin the blueprint and after i basically got 250 of the green ones 500 of the blues and zero of the purple so this 240,000 x i'm just never getting it it's just not gonna happen ever and also i would really really love to get some diamond keys to get a better arm but i just don't really think it's worth for me at the moment oh buddy look at that mr bulk 185 qa strength versus 164 qa weekend so get it with our op auto clicker is that Oh my god, is that two quadrillion wins? Dude, I thought I just missaw that. Wait, wait, I also have a different strategy. I'll lose. I don't even care. What I did is I went ahead and made my teams. This team is for strength and this team is for wins as it gives me an extra 100% boost i believe uh over just regular so that was two quadrillion if i'm not mistaken this should be four quadrillion and we'll be zooming oh yeah oh yeah baby we're gonna be zooming our butts out of here in no freaking time i do want to see though how good those other eggs are because if we can get something miraculously better than a hundred and twenty thousand eggs which i saying that out loud i don't think that's gonna happen especially for 12 quadrillion but, but uh sure squeak sneak grime ravage we get Grime, 14% actually one of the rarer ones, and he's only 2,400. So literally, all of these eggs are just the biggest waste. Oh, what? We're getting updated in the middle of the recording. No, dude, my freaking strength boost. Just scuffed. Oh, man. What I might actually do now that my strength got reset is just sit here and auto fight for quite some time, get a bunch of wins. One hour later. I mean, we have a ton of wins and we could definitely rebirth like 10 or so more times, but I don't even know if that's worth it. But I mean, if our strength just got reset, um, yeah, we're going to get like 100 quadrillion wins, maybe actually more. 250 quadrillion wins, I think is a good aiming point. We'll rebirth and then see without a boost how much strength we're getting every single time we curl our dumbbell. Okay, that really didn't take too long. Uh, we're up to 273 quadrillion. We're gonna go ahead and just spam rebirth. Ooh, that was an extra 200%. Now, listen, I'm really scared to super rebirth. I don't even wanna click this and show what it says. It basically removes like all of your world progress, everything. I don't wanna do that, but I will take an extra 200% strength increase. And so we just gotta grab this, train our biceps, JK, nope. go back. Make sure we equip the right stuff. And we're getting 4.6 trillion without any boost, meaning we should now get 9 trillion per curl after being on for a full two hours. Wait a second, I can actually do one better. I can cure this fella and then just keep going until I get the rainbow one because I think the rainbow one is an extra 10,000. Please. Oh, Ghost would have been sick. Oh my God, no way, no way. I've actually mutated so many. There's no shot. This is actually, it's a 200, 200,000. What a brilliant idea. I'm a genius, dude. Okay, I feel like I've had pretty poor luck, but that right there, that 1% chance, the 1% chance, that is phenomenal. We just doubled our power, our strength with just the craziest 1% of all time. Bro, I can just see him at the top of my screen. He's looking menacing okay yeah we're just gonna focus up on our strength and hopefully in the not too distant future the final boss will be going down all right so you guys remember when we had like a hundred quadrillion strength uh yeah we kind of afk'd all night and we have 7.5 quintillion which means this mutant king is gonna go down without a freaking fight i'm gonna see how slow i can click oh my gosh <laughs> The whole time I've been trying to absolutely just blast my way through all these bosses. And after weeks of grinding, we have now defeated the final boss. And we can just quickly auto fight him with our auto click OP because he gives an insane amount of wins. But again, with our win squad, we can actually make that about one quintillion wins, I think. 
Yeah, literally one more win and we've done it. We've gone from not knowing a single thing about this game to getting to the final world within the span of just a few weeks and maybe a few thousand Robux here and there. Oh, wait, it's 50 quintillion. I thought, I thought it was 5 million. Okay, never mind. I was pre prepping my big victory speech and uh, I, I got it wrong. Okay, give me a second. And a few minutes later, 50 quintillion wins. Get me out of the bunker. Oh my gosh. Is this heaven? Have I done it? Have I escaped to the afterlife? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I've never even seen footage of this. Bruh, you're gonna tell me I gotta fight a literal baby? If I can't beat this, oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna smack him. Yo, baby man smacked. Dino, what are you doing, buddy? Dino buddy's getting smacked. What in the world? How many wins is that? I don't even know. I don't even understand. I'm gonna... Archaeologist getting smacked. What the heck? Why am I smacking everyone? 6.5 quintillion tribe leader. Tri oh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> tribe leader, he kind of did me dirty. How much do we get for auto training? I will say we did lose our 120% boost. And then what about the eggs? How much do you need for eggs? Oh my gosh, 150 quintillion. Alien. I mean, I have enough to open one of these easily. How much does a pterodactyl egg give you? Oh my gosh, 40,000 X for the worst pet? Maybe these eggs are actually worth it. Wait, how much strength do I need for the mammoth boss? Oh my gosh, that's insane. We can go ahead and max out our trails though. So that should give us a little bit extra strength. Yeah, actually like an extra 25% strength. All right, and I did just come back to the bunker and I see three super OP people all using the big dumbbell method I was just using. I can't even find any dumbbells in here. I can only do pull-ups, but it seems like a terrible, terrible waste of my time. But let me see what kind of pets those 150 quintillion win eggs are packing. All right, 150 quintillion wins. I'm looking for a magic triceratops or a sorcerer T-Rex. Wizard Stegosaurus, not bad. Let's see what that's gonna... 70,000. Oh my gosh, yeah, these eggs are actually pretty worth it. What I might do is just save up my wins for something like this. Because the best friend ability is super overpowered in this instance, so I just need... Oh, wait, no, I need a 200,000 X1. Ooh, that might be a little rough. All right, 560 quintillion wins. Let's... Get... It's the worst one. I need something good. 95,000 X is really good. But the only problem is I'll probably need like one of these ones to really make it worth it. And since it would take me, I don't know, another three weeks of AFKing every single day to get enough strength to beat this guy, I think our best bet is AFKing some wins for the time being and then crack and open some eggs. One eternity later. Hours and hours later, I think we have just enough to open three of these eggs. We're gonna do wait. Oh, need more pet storage. Come on, man. All right, now we should be chilling. Oh, dude, Jim Raptor, a legendary. I mean, that's sick, but it's 50%. We need one. Oh no, dude. We just one more chance. One more chance. Mr. Jim T Rex. It's one and virtually never happening. Or we can get the Jim Triceratops. Three gym raptors in a row. That's amazing. You hate to see it. But they do have 120,000 multiplier each, which means if I was able to get a ghost on this, it would then make all of my other lava dragons a whole lot better. So I think we're just going to keep trying this over and over and maybe pull that magical 1% ghost spin. Well, we weren't able to get it, unfortunately, but we did get four rainbows. And by grinding those wins, we did get two diamond keys, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, and it really isn't. Uh, but we're gonna try if we can get a better arm. Seven, no, 700% would have been huge. If we can just get something over 600%, that would greatly help us out in defeating the final boss. Uh, another arm that I already have. Very cool. After full night of AFK, we're left with 45 sextillion wins, and we already have a few dinos. I, I'm not gonna lie, when I first woke up, I couldn't help but actually go ahead and unlock some of these eggs, which is when I got this Void Gym Triceratops with a 280,000 multiplier. I went ahead and enchanted them or upgraded them to the Glowing Gym Triceratops for a 336,000 multiplier, but we still have a ton of eggs to rip through. I think we can go around 12. 12 eggs or so, but there's something I want to do beforehand, which is actually just get the all potions forever because I realize I've been missing out on a ton of not only luck, but double wins as well. I mean, go and chuck on days worth of double wins, a bunch of luck, bunch of golden, bunch of voids. And so now we have the highest chance of getting something great, Ah, uh, which that's not great. We have a few more eggs. We need the gym triceratops. We actually, yes, we need, I believe it is actually that should be it. Just one more is all we needed. But if we 
can enchant that to a huge, then we'll be chilling because now we have three. Oh, we have two voids. Can I get a third void one? Oh my gosh, and a gym stegosaurus. What the heck? Oh no, I need Jim Triceratops. Jim Triceratops. No, we're burning through. We have like five more eggs left. Please, what is up? Yes. If that's a void, we are going to be so chilling. Oh, wait, oh, no, no. Can we combine these? Oh my gosh, we can't. No way. No way. I was just doing this as a test, as a fun test. Oh my god, 560,000. That makes these obsolete. Okay, now I need to go grind that event again. I have just a few Robux left to literally 105 Robux left to my name. But if we can get, I believe it'll be, I don't know, like eight more of these lava dragons. Then they'll all be 405,000 multipliers due to their best friend five ability. Okay, yeah. That should be one of the final things we have to do in order to beat this game. We just have to go sit here and auto battle this guy for like a few years. No, no problem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time is finally here. After weeks and weeks of grinding, going from knowing absolutely nothing about this game to now going up against the final mammoth boss, we have a strength of 224 quintillion which should be absolute easy peasy work for this mammoth here 180 verse 224 oh my gosh we finally beat the game ladies and gentlemen welcome back to arm wrestling simulator where today we're going to be starting out on a brand new account but we have a little trick up our sleeve now this is my main account as you guys know the og quacks blocks and safe to say we have some pretty good pets we have some best friends evans a ton of best friends six we actually have a full team of best friend sixes best friend sevens and a 50 million where is it goliath ghost cosmic dragon the best pet in the game 55 of these exist there's literally 55 of these pets in the entire world and we have one of them which is just pretty insane and well if we get back on our brand new account we can see all of our pets right here when the same lobbies are made account got the best friend seven steampunk driller where is he I, I literally can't even see my cosmic ghost dragon i think he's like somewhere in here but he's just invisible for some reason and it just so happens i'm feeling pretty generous today and want to give my alt account the best pets in the game once again a best friend seven steampunk driller another best friend seven steampunk driller and the 50 million ghost cosmic dragon this right here is a whopping 180 million multiplier with these three pets so i think we're gonna go ahead and accept this offer it seems like a pretty good one thank you very much hey our items have been transferred wait it's so i'm just not realizing how small my <laughs> character is on my main account this is like a regular size roblox guy dude i'm so sure what, what happened but with the trade complete and the only three pets that we have being absolutely op i think it is time to get to work now we aren't going to be picking up any of the game passes oh is this new and everything you need 2x 2x wow that's actually pretty insane we're not picking up the vip pass the wins pass anything all we're using to see if we can get to world six is these three pets if we do manage to get more pet equipped slots from something like the index over here which i don't think will happen then i will trade myself another best friend seven but for now i think this should be good oh wait i forgot i can't use a vip punching bag that's okay because with one hit <laughs> we get 100 or 200 million strength per hit this is an insane wait right we can already beat the champion yeah okay and i think we're already strong enough <laughs> to beat the next wait i only get 625 wins oh man i I am going to kind of be timing this. This isn't like my 100 hour series where I see how far I can progress in 100 hours, but I am going to keep like a rough calculation of how long it takes for me to get from the starter gym to gym six. I'm hoping it'll take around six hours with these OP pets, but truly I think this thing right here, the fact that I'm only getting one X wind on all these bosses is going to be what slows me down a ton, especially in world five. I'm going to have to beat that boss like 2000 times or something insane, I think. And again, we can't enchant these pets because if we do, then they lose their winner winner abilities and that is not something we want to happen Ooh, we did get a green apple though very nice a few minutes later all right that is 16,000 wins and the cool thing is i don't have to worry about using wins on eggs either because of this we can just use them all on trails which will help significantly so we can only get this yellow trail 3500 wins pretty slight and then what do we need for the rogue ai we need okay 41 billion <laughs> let's actually see bicep oh, i don't have any bicep strength let me see one curl <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to see happen and unlocked every single bicep. 
with one curl. That is actually awesome. Oh my gosh. Now, I do realize that this is not realistic at all, but I just think it's really funny to hop on a brand new account, spin no Robux, and then breeze through the entire game. So while I am very aware that the average person is not going to have this happen. Ooh, lucky block. This could actually be pretty big for us. We don't have... Okay, you know what? I said I wasn't going to spin any Robux, and I'm not. We're going to go see how much strength we need to get this. We need 7.3 trillion. That's actually kind of a lot. Yeah, even over here, we're only getting 2 billion. So we're going to need to go find something better in the second gym to break open that lucky block. Oh, and with 3 million wins, we can get a new trail. Thank you very much. Plus 135% total strength. I'm thinking this will just be the best. Yeah, 35 billion. That should be able to crack open the lucky block in no time. But yeah, I'm aware having a 50 million pet and two best friends seven starting out is <laughs> not going to happen unless you want to spend like 8 million Robux on this game when you when you first start out. That is an option, I guess. But if you guys do want a chance to start off the game with some really good pets, I do host giveaways pretty often in my Discord server, and I'll leave that link down below in the description. And listen, this worked the last time. So on the count of three to give me an insane drop in this lucky block, I heard that if everyone subscribes, I'll get a plus 1% luck boost. Already one, two, three... Oh my gosh, plus five spins. Okay, I will say, oh, I thought this was best friend seven. Maybe it is in some spins. We have 10 free spins. We might as well get them Um, 100 wins. I have 1.5 million. That's, I don't really know what that's gonna do a whole lot for me at this stage in the game. The flame beast is, I remember unironically being hyped when I got that, when I first started out. I mean, hey, 5X, should we, should we replace it? Should our, our, our pet right here, the flame beast, what are we thinking? Uh, you know, we'll save it for later. Maybe, maybe it'll have a spot on our squad later but i think for now i'll just defeat this rogue ai so we can move on to world three bada bang bada boom 20 million wins we can slide on out of here thank you rogue ai for letting me destroy you we already have 20 trillion strength uh i am going to quickly pick up the oh wait i can rebirth i kind of forgot about this this is a really helpful thing starting out 300 strength increase which is already insane because I think that means now we have a 600 million multiplier because 300% times 200 million, that's 600 million. But how much do we need? Is it one, 1 1.7 QA? And I always feel like for free-to-play accounts, for some reason, you always need a little bit more strength than what they recommend. So what is actually the best way to get strength? It's usually this VIP punching bag. Okay, we're getting 370 billion per punch. That is pretty solid. And let me see, auto fight. Can I beat the fat? Oh my gosh, we clear the fat pirate. No way this guy's getting smoked we're gonna go and take those 45 million wins and put them right back into a new trail not a huge boost but at this stage every little bit count okay so we get 360 billion so we're basically getting like a trillion a second from this punching bag oh and then we're getting about a trillion a second from this barbell what about hand strength what are we thinking again <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen unlocking all at once is crazy okay so we're getting basically a trillion a second from no matter what we do so i don't think that's really the big issue here i think i might get enough strength to beat this friendly shark and then beat him enough times so that way we can get up to maybe the four or five hundred percent rebirth i definitely don't think i'm gonna be doing any super rebirths unless i like need to later on down the line to beat these bosses oh wait i completely forgot about arms that's a whole nother part i'm missing do we have any crates Ooh, looks like you start out with a few rust crates that is very nice let's uh okay plus eight percent again everything helps when we're trying to kind of speed run this low key everything helps 25 percent. that is huge that is probably one of the best arms we can even get in this we have one more i think two more keys we can use another five percent we could maybe i might be feeling a little a little frisky if we can get another one of these i'll turn into a golden oh we don't but if we or if we manage to get a golden one that'd be pretty big as well uh a daily quest is that not the oh wait can i do the silver crate key quest where's that this over here brand new we just have to stay in the game for 25 minutes oh wait we have we've won 10 battles wait i'm actually really confused right now maybe we'll get it in a second because i don't see the silver crate keys in my inventory just yet and then we'll open up three more what do we get okay not great we also do have enough strength to beat that friendly shark back there but but just, just, just give me a second we're going to see if we can't get lucky with these arms in the golden machine. If you don't know, if you're able to get a golden arm, it gives a plus 50% boost to whatever stat it has. So this 20% will become 30%. Ah, tough. You know, we'll just go and chuck in the void. Ah, tough. Ah, tough. This is not good, guys. We only have two more chances. If this fails, then I just wasted a ton of potential boosts. No, are you kidding me? 
Are you okay? I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of bound to happen. I feel like I've been really lucky recently with my arms, so we could have got a 25% boost and put up to 500 trillion strength, but I'm an idiot. Um, we're gonna probably get some back. I mean, just by beating these bosses, we will get some keys and some crate keys. So we're gonna go ahead and AFK the friendly shark mm, for maybe around five or ten minutes. We'll come back and check the boss index, see how many wins, how many times we we're able to defeat him, but one billion wins per that is actually really huge, especially because I just need these wins for rebirthing at the moment. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Oh, wait, quest completed. That is literally perfect timing. Uh, I promise I am not going to be fumbling these great keys. <laughs> I'm not going to be... Oh, dude, we're so close to plus 140%. So it doesn't even matter at the end of the day because whatever arm we would have got from that, this is going to be way better. Oh, if we get another one, if we get another one of these same arms, I might not. I'm just kidding. I can't. There's no way. There's no way. We'll at least equip one. That, what is the odds of that? Like 0, 0.0 bajillion? Okay, so for arms, what do we have? We have a 55% mummy. We're going back, boys. We're going back for round two. Can we get, what would that be? A 75% rotten? That would be pretty juicy. Let's make sure we're just doing the, yes, dude. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it was bound to happen eventually, but it's funny because this arm is probably going to be obsolete within like a few minutes. I don't think I'm going to be using this arm for super long. And even though this 700 trillion strength took a little while to get, I still think it's worth it with our 77 billion wins to go ahead and rebirth a bunch. We went from, oh, we doubled, we went from 300 to 600%. We still have 14 billion wins left over, which means we can pick up this money trail, which will give us another 50% strength boost, 210% strength, plus 65% speed. Very nice. And let's go and see for our biceps now we're getting almost two trillion per curl that is doubling what we were just getting like 10 minutes ago so yeah you guys can see you just breeze through this game if you have op pets it only takes three for me to still absolutely speed run and demolish this game okay we have 2.1 qa strength now and i'm pretty curious like i said i feel like you always have to have a little bit more strength in this say oh actually no that's pretty good we're still being the was it kraken boss with a pretty hefty advantage now how many is it if i'm not mistaken we need five trillion wins let me just go ahead and check real quick what do we got what do we got yeah five trillion wins to go to the nuclear bunker okay i said that really weird Sorry about that, the nuclear. <laughs> and with 17 billion wins, we're going to have to beat this Kraken boss like 70-ish times to get enough wins. Maybe even a little bit more. So again, this is kind of where our lack of passes, lack of game pass is going to start to bite us in the butt. Uh, we're, we're pretty easily able to get the strength required to beat these bosses. But when it comes to the wins, ah, that's where we're lacking. And a winner-winner team would be very much appreciated right now. But regardless, I'll see you guys in a second. One eternity later. Alrighty, I, uh, I have Kate for a little bit longer than I meant to, but this was taking ages. I spent, I mean, I don't even know the final tally. I'm really curious. Bosses, speech, we had to beat the Kraken 400 times. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but that was basically an hour of AFKing just to get five children. We could have probably done like 45 minutes, but as you can see, if I had double wins, that would have been 20 minutes. If I had a winner, winner team, that would have been like 10 minutes, maybe. So we might actually use some of our wins here, get some eggs just so we can go back to the space gym and get some winner winner enchants because there's nothing that says I can't use my rebirth to get some enchants but we don't need the mutate or the cure machine in the bunker because of course our pets are already fully maxed out and so let's see with a 100% time boost multiplier our biceps 16 trillion per curl oh my gosh that's actually insane oh wait I forgot about this what are we getting with 73 trillion per curl holy moly okay so a 6.7 trillion wins what can we get trails there's not a big difference i'll get the 225 billion one and then i think i'm actually just gonna well first I, i'm really curious to see we need 4.3 qa and oh my gosh bro we are flying to the strength let's actually okay let's just beat the hazmat guy i'm really curious how many wins do we get it used to say above their heads i thought but uh doesn't say that anymore so has my guy second best boss in the bunker what are we thinking we get 145 billion wins. That's not even... Okay, I know it sounds like a lot. And it kind of is a lot, but it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, we're going to go rebirth really quick. Not super rebirth, just... Oh, only 765%. Uh, we have a few extra wins. We'll just grab three pets from here because we can only use three pets for our winner winners team. Again, because we're not buying any extra pet equips. So let's get out of our way back to the space gym and see how many rebirth tokens. So I have 51 rebirths right now. That's pretty good, but not a ton. So I'd really like to get at least, okay, winner winner three gives me 20% more. So we'll do that. And then these early rebirths don't cost a whole lot. So we can spam those up pretty easily. 
Okay, a second winner, winner three. So now we have a 40% win boost, which I will take. Come on, one more. You know you want to be nice to me. Hey, there we go. Did you a few more rebirths? And we have a full... Wait, what? Lucky, did I do the wrong one? Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. We have our strength team, our winner's team, and then a lucky block has just spawned. So we gotta go get that big old barbell again. And the bunker, how many? Oh, wow, 690%. We, we got most of the way back there. I'll take that. Ooh, while we were grinding, did we get... Oh, we did. Okay, so we got uh, six gold crates. So we'll go ahead and get uh, enough for six of these. This is gonna be really helpful. The, the jump from silver to gold, that's huge. That is actually such an insane... I think we have like a 95% arm right now. Oh my gosh, dude. We almost got the freaking 850% juicer magoose or what? 320% buff bling arm. I'll take it. Oh, so close to the 1%. Last great keyword, are we gonna get another 45% arm? But our best arm is a 320% buff bling. Wow, so now we have 6.8. We're getting one QA strength every time we curl our invisible barbell. Don't know what uh, what happened to it. And so I'm really curious, what are we gonna get from this lucky block? I'm not gonna run all the way back. Uh, I would get the teleport game pass, but again, no Robux allowed here in this challenge. On any second, where is it? Oh, wow. We just got 300 billion wins. That's actually a pretty good wins pack, I gotta be honest. But in order to escape to the dino world, we need a whopping 1.4 QI total strength. And so I think what might be worth it is to get uh, maybe up to 60 total QI strength to beat the enforcer. Chuck on our wins team. And then wait, hopefully we can actually see right now. Winners, let's go auto fight the enforcer. We should be able to beat him. Yeah, slow and steady. We'll, we'll get there. We'll beat him. How many wins are we looking at? 5.9 trillion. Wow, that is a huge jump. Okay, that is actually pretty insane. And so we'll chuck a few more at the rebirth up to 800%. We'll also get a better trail. Okay, that, that's a little bit better. Getting like an extra 40% strength just from that. But I think I'm gonna repeat this process of grinding up strength, beating the enforce and rebirthing see if we can't get to a thousand overall percent boost and then just sit here oh, dude it might take like upwards of like an hour of just chilling in order to get the 1.4 qi snake needed for the bean boss i thought this was gonna go a little bit faster but these three pet equips are really holding us back oh wait what we can do i just realized now that we have four bunkers unlocked let's go ahead and do a little bit of math here can we get 50 pet equips Oh, yeah, I think we can definitely get 50 pets, not pet equips. We can get an extra plus one equip if we're able to find 50 pets. So I'm just gonna use all of my wins in these early arenas and see if we can't get our pet index all the way up to 50. But oh, this is gonna take so long because I only have one open. It's not the fast open. <laughs> oh, no. But the plus one pet equip was gonna help me out a ton because we'll be able to get another best friend seven on our team. So I think it's worth it. Already after the first gym, we were able to get up to 19 pets in the index, only 31 to go. Many, many minutes later. After the second gym, we got up to 36 pet equips, just 14 to go. And I think we should be able to finish this off each gym. Oh, we just got it. Plus one pet equip. So now we have four free pet equips. So let me go snag another steampunk driller from my main account. And then we get this show on the road. All right, another best friend seven steampunk driller coming right my way. There we go. Make sure we go ahead and lock them. Would have hate to uh, delete that pet. Then we can go ahead and chuck on the steampunk driller. So now instead of 180 million base stats to boost, this now has a 245 million stat boost, which is four pets. Oh my gosh, this keeps getting so crazy. And we're getting 152 trillion per curl or like two QA strength. Oh my gosh. I think it's probably just best if we sit here in AFK strength to beat the mutant boss because it probably won't take that long. So I'll AFK for a bit and see you guys in a second. Two thousand years later we've been grinding away strength for about the last half hour and i'm really curious can we beat the mutant king 1.8 versus 1.2 qa strength oh dude this is so slow oh <laughs> this is so slow but the question is how many wins are we gonna get 240 qa that's without my winner's team as well how many do we need we need 50 qi so we only have to beat the mutant king 100 times which isn't that bad compared to being the kraken boss we're definitely making slow but steady progress oh my gosh 384 okay so we have to beat him like 15 more times wait no just kidding oh 
150 more times. I actually don't know. For some reason, my mental math right now is terrible, but it should be a little bit faster than the Mutant King. Hope it doesn't take another hour, but it looks like we will be escaping the bunker and moving on to the Dino World within about three hours of play, which is pretty impressive for zero Robux spent. And so I'm gonna let this bad boy do its thing. And as always, I'll see you guys in a second. Three hours later. All right, one that's arm wrestle. And I just realized this isn't even arm wrestling simulator. The dude's hand is in my head. Is this head arm wrestling? Like, what is he arm wrestling? Okay, 50 QI strength. I'm gonna go ahead and let him cop a dub on me. And then let's see, bosses. We only had to beat him 131 times, which is pretty decent. But now this is like the ultimate boss. Like, unironically, the mammoth is pretty hard to beat. 207 QI strength. I'm gonna have to use everything I have to my advantage. So we're first gonna start off with crates. So what crates do we have? We have seven gold, one emerald. A emerald, only 500 billion. So not bad to purchase a crate, uh, but we only get a 300%. Good. So I think instead we're just gonna buy seven gold crates. Just open them all. And actually, we might as well cop the rest of these and just see if we get anything worthwhile. Okay, so we do get a buff void, which is an extra 125% better. But we also have three buff flames. So if we get that to a golden, oops, not trying to go to world six just yet, we can see we've already been lucky once. I mean, 60% chance. This is a coin flip. This is basically heads or tails. And I'm going heads. No, that's not what I wanted. No, we're just throwing everything away. No, buff bio. No, dude, what is happening? I mean, that's success, but it doesn't even matter because it's not even as good. Ah, oh, dude, it's not. I'm just not having great luck right now with the arms. I'll tell you what. Okay, next up, trails. I think 11.4 QA is probably the best bang for the buck right now. So we get a little bit more strength. And then all that's left is basically rebirth. Now I said I wasn't gonna super rebirth and I really don't want to. So what can we do with just this? Oh, we can actually go pretty far. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What was that? We just went from like 800 to 1350. That's almost like a doubling right there. I'll take that. And so let me see. I still think if we go back to the bunker, auto train biceps, grab this and then make sure we put on our strength team. Oh, and we need the updated strength team. What are we getting per curl? 287 trillion. So basically five QA per curl. We've maxed out our uh, time strength boost here. So we're getting 5.3 QA per curl. Or basically 9.5 QI strength every hour, which uh, isn't great because that means we have to be here for 20 hours getting strength to beat the mammoth. So I think instead of sitting here for 20 hours, we're just gonna try to beat the archeologist as many times as we can. Because if we beat the archeologist 500 times, then we're basically guaranteeing ourselves at least one diamond key. So that'll be a 20 to 30% strength boost as well as, let me see with our wins team, how many wins do we get? We have 103 QI at the moment. And now we have 106. So that was 2.4 QI wins. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure how big of a boost we'll give. 613 QI or QA strength. Get this. We have, all right, it's like a 10, 5% boost. Super rebirthing would definitely be our best bet, but God, I just don't want to. I just, I'm kind of stubborn right now. So you know what? Instead, for the next three hours, I'm going to sit here grinding up wins. So if we come back to a ton of crate and crate keys, as well as enough strength to get us some final rebirth boosts. But this is honestly being a lot harder than I anticipated it was going to be. Oh my God. I think I might've overestimated myself. All right, so we managed to get a ton of wins, as you can see. And I'm really curious. Come on, come on. Six diamond, that is huge. Gonna get that. The emerald crates, they're pretty good. We have so many wins. At this point, it doesn't even really matter. We can just get as many crates as we want. I'm gonna make sure I lock my best arms just in case something happens. And then now uh, we have so many to open. We're just gonna open them all, see what we can get. Oh, we do get a buff moon and some buff primals, which is already better than our previous arm. You guys know where I'm headed to. Please, for once, give me some good luck. That's all I'm asking. We're gonna save our 600% arm because, dude, it's gonna happen. 60% chance. Buff spike. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's how much? Like 800%? 795. So we just basically doubled our strength. Yeah, we are now at one quintillion. So that is like a 30% increase. And then let's see trails. Is there any trails worth buying? They kind of drop off quite a bit. No, I'm not gonna waste that many wins for such a small gain in strength. But we're at 6.76 hillion. 
15 wins. Let's see how many Reapers. Oh, that was not as much as I was expecting. Okay. And so I think at this point, our best bet is just going to be to curl this barbell until we get 200 QI strength, which yes, I know is going to take forever. But that's about all I can do. Also, Lucky Block should help us out. We get around six per hour. Oh, that's the wrong way. And there's definitely a chance that we get some really OP drops like the plus three, plus eight, or plus 15% stat boosts. So we've got a long night ahead of us of just AFKing the strength until we can beat the mammoth boss. But trust me, buddy, you're going down. The next day. Well, a full 12 hours later, we ended up getting 306 QI strength, but also a ton of wins. If you take a look at our wins count, we have 57% of the wins required to actually leave the dino world and to go to the void world. And that is because of the lucky blocks in the game. As you can see, we got a ton of snack packs. And if that's any indication of how many lucky blocks I was able to open, that's where all the wins came from, where all the win packs were. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and chuck on our winner winners team to see. Hopefully, I mean, I, I I think we can yeah we're like double the strength of the mammoth oh my gosh okay we got two okay we basically have 0.3 sx wins which means we have to beat the mammoth 1500 times in order to get enough wins to move on to the dino world so i honestly thought this was gonna go a, a lot faster than it ended up going because we're we're around the 24 hour mark right now and uh this is gonna take a few hours 1500 mammoth battles at the current speed we're going i mean we're getting one every like 10 you know i'm gonna time it i'm gonna time it real quick Oh, it's once every 10 seconds, which if my math is correct, is going to take us about six hours of beating the mammoth nonstop to get enough wins. But we've come so far, again, only with four pet equips and zero Robux spent on the game. So we're going to go grind out a ton of these mammoth wins and uh, I'll come back when this number is around 1.5k. Ladies and gentlemen, we were successful at the end of the day, getting over 1.5 SP wins. We went a little overboard. I'm not going to lie. I'm really curious. So how many bosses? How many times we beat this? Three. That's kind of what I guess. 3,600. Holy crap. That is actually kind of insane. So all in all, this is at minimum a 24 hour grind to get to the point where we can escape world five and go to the dino world, which I'm really shocked because we have the four best pets in the entire game. Three pets with a 65 million stat boost and a 50 million ghost cosmic dragon. I'm not sure if this number is correct. The 55 exists. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But even with these pets, no Robux spent. We, we never even ended up getting the teleport pass nothing in the store no vip pass we did it let's go and run through the portal it's nighttime hey there we go the void world we made it this is an absolute grind and this in my books is beating the game if you wanted me to get to was it 2.8 sx strength i mean i could but it would take like another week at this point and that's not something i'm interested in doing but let's see can we at least beat this guy do we know we have one knuckle strength that uh, we cannot beat right at the end can we beat space cowboy oh this is where all of our strength is nope just kidding we have it all in bicep power. We can't beat this guy. What about what about the last guy? What about Demon Slayer? Can we beat Mr. Demon Slayer? Uh, we are no. There is actually no way. Yeah, no, no shot. So we can't even beat any bosses in World Six. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator. Where today we're on a brand new account with zero pets, but. We do have the maximum of 40 pet equips on this account because every five minutes, I'm going to be getting a random pet for my main account over there. And after 40 pets, we're going to be seeing just how far we can progress within this game. And really quickly, as a friendly reminder, before we hop into the challenge, less than 10% of everyone watching this video right now is subscribed to the channel. And my big goal is trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you wouldn't mind double checking to see if you guys are subscribed, it would mean a ton to me. But let's get underway with this challenge. And well, since we have no pets at the moment, no multipliers, we're getting two strength every single time we curl this dumbbell. I think we better start things off right now by spinning this wheel, which has 40 different pets on it. And whatever it lands on, we're going to transfer from our main account. What is it going to be? Please do something good. Oh my, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. The first pet I get is a 1x multiplier dog. Oh man. So every time we get a pet, we're going to remove it from the wheel. And well, look at that. Our first pet looking majestic. And I've just started a five minute countdown timer that when it ends, we can give ourselves another pet. But yeah, there's not much we could do. We can go ahead and open all of our rust crates. See, oh, 20% bone arm. Not bad at all. Now we're getting 5x. And then I always forget, which is the best thing to actually gain strength? I think it's the biceps. If you get the max biceps, I'm pretty sure it's better than the punching bags over there. But I also forgot last time, you only need, I think it's like, what, five wins? And you can get one of the first trails, which is like a plus 100% boost. 
All right, and with five wins in the bag, we can get the starter, which already doubles our strength, which is so crazy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'm not sure if you guys saw on that wheel, but the pets that we have the possibility to get range from, as you can see, pretty bad ones, all the way up to the current best pet in the game, which is a 500 million multiplier fire fizzle dominus. So I very much could have started out this challenge a whole lot differently, but I kind of like that I'm starting out slow because things are going to pick up really fast once we start getting more pets in our inventory. All right, the five minute time is up and 15,000 strength isn't bad but yeah we need 500,000 to beat the final boss so i'll gladly take our second pet right about now let's see what are we gonna get what are we gonna get something good no way oh 200 million pumpkin okay now that is crazy and that is gonna help us breeze through these first few worlds but honestly i'm i i, I kind of think we might have a low-key chance of getting to world seven if i can get good enough pets but then again i also need good arms and good trails and all that stuff so we're definitely gonna make a bunch of progress just don't know how much but but let's see this with one extra pet added we're now getting four oh my bro what your four billion per curl okay so we kind of just smashed that out of the water. With the best dumbbell, we're getting 15 billion every curl, man. That was like the second best pet on the entire wheel, and it just gave it to me. But even though we have a ton of strength, we don't have any winner winner pets, which I did include on the wheel. So we do have a chance at getting up to, I believe it is five winner winner five pets which would give us a 2x wins boost multiplier this account obviously has no game passes i've spent no robux on it other than the 40 pet equips so yeah getting strength isn't really the hard part it's everything else like super rebirthing and wins that's going to become a pain later on down in the challenge but i think i'm ready for it but it's virtually no time at all later 15,000 wins moving on to the school and i believe we should already have enough strength to beat. I mean, it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. Now we can beat the, the highest punching bag. We have a trillion strength. Yeah, I, I think we have enough to beat the rogue, I, rogue AI, which is 36.2 billion strength. But again, it's not beating these bosses. It's how many times we have to beat them. And trust me, I know we have to beat some of these bosses thousands of times to move on to the next world. But fortunately, the rogue AI isn't one of them. Now, I do think it's worth mentioning that no, I will not be allowed to enchant any pets. And of course, I will not be opening any additional eggs. The only pets I can get are from my main account, which again, I get one every single five minutes. So no voiding, no turning anything into golds. But what we are allowed to do is rebirth. And ooh, actually, no, we don't need a new trail. I think this would actually be better. Let's see. Okay, yeah, one trail trillion per punch that seems to still be doing a pretty good job but we need like one point something qa strength to get out of this gym but luckily it's our time to spin the wheel again what are we gonna get no no way oh okay a best friend eight is gonna be really clutch there was a chance that if i had a sucky pet well then getting a best friend eight pet wouldn't matter but because we have a 200 million ghost hunt the pumpkin this thing is now like three or 400 million stats which is crazy but let's equip all and now we're getting yeah we're getting about two or three trillion per punch just a small little upgrade all right and about two minutes later we were able to get enough strength to beat the final boss in the third gym but i, I we're not trying to open that lucky block back there so we need like 122 trillion strength and uh okay dude it <laughs> Is it even worth it? What, what's even the best thing I can get from it? I'm not even sure if lucky blocks are worth grinding anymore. But let's see. Kraken boss. Can we take him down? 1.5 QA versus 2.2. Oh, we're kind of kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, and this is where having a winner winner pet would really come in handy. Because we're going to have to beat this boss. I think it's like two. Whoa, what? Is, what? What just, what just happened? Did you? What is happening? Oh my gosh. I have never. Dude. Oh my gosh. Are we winning? Are we losing? Dude, this is so... I'm not even fighting anymore. I'm in the ground. What just happened? Okay, well, that was extremely weird. We do have a silver key. We can purchase a crate. We can go ahead and get a silver arm. 75% should make us a whole lot stronger. And maybe we won't glitch out and absolutely break this game again. Okay, there's our first win. Is it going to do it again? That was really weird. Okay, we might be in the clear. I've never seen that before in all of my days of playing this game. Uh, but we should be getting our next pet in around the next 60 seconds or so. And if it's a winner-winner pet, 
I'm gonna be ecstatic because, dude, I don't want to sit here for the next, like, 30 minutes just AFKing this guy. While we're catching dubs on the other monitor, it is time to get our next pet. What is it gonna be? No way. No way, please. Yes! Oh my god. You would think this is rigged. You would think this is rigged by the way this is going. A winner, winner, five pet. Let's freaking go. This pet is going to single-handedly get us, was it? Yeah, 40% more wins. Oh my goodness. So now instead of beating this guy, I think it's like 200 times. We only have to beat him a little over 100 times. And in a few more minutes, maybe... Just maybe we can get super lucky and get a second win winner pet bill. I'm, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm not going to get too excited because we still have a long road ahead of us. Ding, ding, ding. It's that time again. We're only up to one trillion wins. So please, winner. <gasps> no, dude, th this, this makes no sense. This wheel has to be listening. It has to, my mic has to be, this is no, this is so weird. Pretty much like everything that I've asked for has actually happened aside from the one X dog we got earlier. But now we have an 80%, we almost have a double permanent wins boost because of this. Now there's still a ton of crappy pets on that wheel that if we manage to get, I will be a very upset camper but hey I, i'm not complaining i thought this was gonna go way worse than it's gone so far so let's keep it rolling well folks you're getting pretty used to it by now another wheel spin another five minutes has gone by and yeah this is uh this is one of the pets i threw in i mean it won't be not helpful a key finder two pet but it's not something that i'm like actively looking for because i think it gives like a two percent better chance at finding keys speaking of which do we have any more quick keys oh we have two gold keys let's go and open these up that's gotta be something good oh the buff for rosen let's see let's see let's see 8.5 that's huge oh my gosh it's gonna make things go by so much faster yeah, 2% better chance at finding keys. That's basically nothing. All right, let's go back to find the crack and reset the timer, and I'll see you guys in five minutes. Oh, man, we're still only at 3.7 trillion wins. It's been like half an hour here. But no fear, because the wheel spin is back. A winner, winner. It comes, it goes. And, ooh, 600k ocean shark. So, I mean, this doesn't really help us out right now in this moment because we need wins instead of strength. But in a moment, we will need strength. And and this best friend six is going to come in clutch. I kind of forgot it was best friend six. I thought it was like best friend five. Oops. But seven pets equipped. 33 to go. Look at that. We finally have enough wins to say bye bye to the third world, the beach world, and move on to the bunker now this world i think should be a little bit easier but we can definitely see about getting some upgrades beforehand uh, don't get a better arm we can definitely rebirth but i want to get a better trail before we do so i'm thinking probably the 225 billion chunky trail what does it even look like is it even chunky not not necessarily and then we're just gonna drop a bunch of wins on rebirths i really Really am not in the mood to super rebirth today. But yeah, don't think we're gonna need to because with every curl, we're getting seven QA strength from this barbell, and we only need 150 QA to beat this mutant king final boss. So within like a minute of being in this world again, we're gonna have the strength we need to actually beat the boss. It's more the winds problem we're encountering, but I kind of thought that was gonna happen, but not so soon in the process. We have another wheel spin to take a look at. No. No, there's only three left. Now there's two left. There's like 30 pets and I got a 10% chance to get the winner, winner five and we nail it. Oh yeah, let's get it equipped. Let's get the last little bit of strength we need and then we can get to work AFKing the Mutant King. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How many wins are we going to get going up against the Mutant King? Was that 500 QA? So, okay, only having to beat this guy a hundred times. Not bad. Not bad at all, but before we get busy with that, we're coming up on wheel spin number nine. Imagine, imagine, winner, winner, no way. There's a chance, there's a chance, there's a chance. This is not real, bro. The odds of that are like 7%. Okay, now, dude, this is, <laughs> this makes no sense. There is literally one winner, winner, five pet. Oh, I didn't mean to spin it. Oops. What is he gonna land on anyway? Okay, that, that doesn't count. Actually, you know what? I'll give myself two pets at once. I didn't mean to do that. 
but I'll give myself an elephant and the Winter Winter 5. All right, there are those two pets. It is pretty crazy, though, that we have gotten, like, the most ideal possible setup in the world for this. Like, there's literally only one more Winter Winter pet possible that I can get in this challenge, and that's because we've been super, super lucky so far. And uh, I think within the next two minutes, we'll be on the World 5 in just under an hour, which is super, super crazy to me. All right, we're only about halfway there to escaping the world. Oh, dude, imagine, bro. <laughs> imagine there's so many strength pets like these are all just like the enchanted pets that we keep getting but there's like a bajillion strength pets left oh look at this gamers 50 qi we can move on to world five yo that was kind of bars and we could also pick up another pet i believe our 12th pets was gonna be dude this wheel is like just staying in this one area oh we do get to do 15 million candy cane dominus which is funny because i don't even really have a use for this at the moment all right let's see though how much strength are we getting about 8 qa per curl let's see what trail we could scoop up a decently better trail use the key don't get anything i think we'll rebirth though because we're gonna go from 750 yeah 600 extra percent 16 QA per curl. Uh, we'll need to be here for like what? I don't know, a few minutes, five, 10 minutes, and we'll have enough strength to already beat the mammoth. But this guy, we gotta beat him like 1,200 times. It's that's not a joke. Like two, like a thousand, two thousand times. We gotta beat this guy to move on. It's absolutely insanity. So now I wouldn't mind getting one of those best friend pets, but we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, we land ourselves a new best friend eight. Boop, just kidding, best friend seven. That's that's still good. Still like 300 million. Boom, up to 13 pets. And we almost have enough strength to beat the mammoth. And we can try. Oh yeah, we got that in the bag. Okay, there's one win. We just need eh, about a thousand more. So I think all we could do is pretty much sit here, get more strength, and then give another crack at it. We have a few more QI worth of strength. Well, it's been 15 minutes. We got three extra pets, as you saw. The bear, the mouse, and a new best friend, Seven. And we've worked our way up to 9.1 QI strength. So we can comfortably, comfortably beat the mammoth, which is awesome. But we have to beat him again uh, about a thousand times. And so I'm debating, do I come back every five minutes and get a new pet? Or do I just wait until I have all the strength? That might be like two hours. And then just come back and get the 12 pets I would have gotten anyways. Because any pet that I get while I'm AFKing this boss, it won't help me. I mean, there's one pet, there's one win pet, as you guys know, that would help me. And so I think I'm just going to time how long it takes for me to beat the mammoth enough times to get the 500 SX wins I need. And then come back and open up the equivalency of that in spins. Get my pets and keep on grinding. Well, just over, I think it's like 100 minutes, like an hour and a half later. Oh my gosh, 500 SX wins this is by far the most annoying boss in the entire game they've they've done so much in terms of making this game more free to play friendly and then they just forgot to tweak this guy but regardless we can finally escape the dino world and get all of the pets that we are owed because it's been about 100 minutes that's 20 extra pets we can add to our inventory which means we'll only have four left to get up to 36 pets with four to go and so while i'm doing all of this drawing uh might as well as go ahead and just get started training here up in world six but as you can see things are going a little slow but same thing we have four diamond crates so pick up four crate keys open up all of these what are we gonna get a nice 560 that's a wow we just doubled right there for trails what can we do here? Maybe a nice little... I like I like the 55SX. Seems like it's a pretty good value. Immediately up to 16.2 QI. And I think because we're getting strength so fast, it wouldn't hurt to rebirth. But I, I don't think we're going to get very far from 13 to 15. 15, 50%. Yeah, this is where we need the super rebirth. And I just don't want the super rebirth. But I'm going to go get all 20 pets that were owed and see which four are left over. And so let's go do this. So these are all of the different 20 pets we got. As you can see, there is a lot of diversity going on. We have some best friend fives, a new best pet, 
finally, we still haven't been able to get the 300, or the 500 million uh, Fire Fizzle Dominus, uh, some best friend eights, another best friend six. So all in all, it's gonna help us out tremendously in terms of actually getting more strength because that's really what we need at the moment. I was originally only going to continue this challenge until I got to 40 pets and see how far I progress. But I just think most challenges just kind of end in world six because I'd have to spend probably like four or five hours AFKing here. And then if I got to world seven, well then there's absolutely no chance I could even beat a single boss because just how crazy it is. But let's see, equip all, we have 36 pets and we're now getting three QA strength every single curl. So we triple the amount of strength we get. And again, yes, I can super rebirth and I can do all this grinding, but that, that kind of defeats the purpose of this whole challenge in my opinion. So we've got 36 of the 40 pets, we have four more to go, and so in 20 minutes this challenge will be complete, and it sucks because we could have got the best pet at the very beginning, and honestly, I was feeling, I think we got the, uh, the 200 million ghosts on a pumpkin at the beginning, and I was, I was, you know, hyped about that, but oh man, if we got the Fire Fizzle Dominus, who knows, maybe we could have actually made it to World 7, but I'll catch you guys in five minutes. Let's see if we can't get a lit. So lucky, nope, 1x Fox, that's that's awesome. I have no use for that at all. But we'll add to the collection and keep on getting some strength. Also, since we have some extra arms, might as well see if we can't get a little lucky getting a golden one. And wow, we didn't, that is incredibly unlucky. Never mind, GG's, we're going back to training. Another five minutes means another wheel spin. Dude, you're kidding me. Uh, it's going to be the last pet I get. The last pet I get is going to be the best pet in the entire game. And I get another 1x cat, dude. How does this keep happening? Well, we've made a decent chunk of progress. So for 100 QI, does that even give me the ability to beat any of these bosses over here? Mr. Arinthi, 287? Holy crap, it goes from 1 QI to beat the Mammoth in the last world to 300 in this world. Jeez, man. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna need this Fire Fizzle Dominance if we want any chance of beating any of these bosses before the challenge ends. So, come on, one time for the one time. Give it to me. No, no, no. Out of 40 pets, there's a 2.5% chance that the Fire Fizzle is the last pet we get. And oh my gosh, it happened. We started out things so hot and we're ending them on, I guess, a low note. I don't even know what to consider this. And so abiding by the rules, I'll see you guys in five minutes to claim the best pet in the entire game. But everyone knows what pet I'm getting next, uh, but okay, that's so stupid. What is that wheel spin? The 500 million multiplier best pet in the game, Fire Fizzle Dominus is now coming home and the wheel is completely empty. Oh man, I've been waiting to see this for quite some time. Let's see, we're currently getting three QA every single time we curl our hand strength thing. He's equipped best and we're now up to 5.4 QA, virtually doubling the strength we're gonna get. So honestly, I think I'm down to sit here for the next however long it takes for me to get enough strength to at least beat the Arinthian. I mean, the thing is, if I stayed here in AFK, yes, I could get to world seven, but I don't know, it kind of defeats the purpose. We have all 40 pets that we plan on getting, some very bad, some very good, as you know, but we'll sit here for the next probably like 20 or 30 minutes to get enough strength to at least beat the first boss, say we did a little bit of damage in world six, and then see where we go from there. All right, let's go give it a check. 302 QI total strength, Arinthian. You gotta be going down, buddy. There's no way. You don't have the edge on me. Whip it out the auto clicker, AKA my fingers. Let's freaking go. I consider this challenge a success. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today we're going to be starting as a noob with the best pet in the entire game. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this isn't a noob account. What are you doing on here? Well, this is the account that I plan on doing the challenge on, but unfortunately, I don't even have the best pet in the game at the moment. And that's because it costs 17,500 Robux. And so we got to go drop a lot of Bobux in order to even start this challenge. Oh man, the fire fizzled dominance 
this has been purchased. Holy crap, this thing looks absolutely insane. Oh, it looks so sick as well. Whoa. Now, you'll notice that the 75 million Fire Fizzle Dominus is nowhere near as good as my 300 million Ghost Cosmic Colossus Dragon, but that's okay because I've got some tricks up my sleeves to turn it into a 500 million pet. And since it already comes as a Void and a Goliath, we first need to head to the nuclear bunker and over to the mutate machine and, well, just mutate it over and over and over again until we get the ghost mutate. And since I think this is going to be a lengthy process, I'll catch you guys in a second. Wow, we did it. We got ourselves a ghost. So now it has a 150 million multiplier. But as you guys know, we're not done there. The next step is to equip just this pet and just this pet alone. No other pets because we are going to be, of course, feeding it a bunch of the best snacks in the game. Around 700 godly bones is the amount of XP you need to max out your pets level 99. In doing so, we should turn this around to a 225 million pet. I think it increases your pet by 1.5x total multiplier. So uh, I'll catch you guys in, I don't know, what was it, 10 minutes to apply though. These things takes forever. A few moments later. All right, let's see. A bunch of have been applied. 99. And this has a exact 225 million multiplier. Goliath. Oh, dude, this is the most mouthful of a pet I've ever seen. Goliath, Ghost, Fire, Fizzle, Dominus. <laughs> Jeez, they just keep making the names longer and longer. Soon we're gonna have to pull out a magnifying glass to read these names because they're gonna be so long and so tiny. But the last thing we need to do is to turn this or red slime this, I should say, because they did update it. And I kind of had a theory that this is gonna happen, but they changed it to that. The red slime actually gives a 2.25x boost, so it's even more powerful. I'm just gonna say fire fizzle becomes a 500 million. So we have a 5% chance. Imagine first, no way. Oh my dude, I looked at it, I saw this this paint and i was like oh we got it okay so obviously getting a first try would be crazy now we just have to go back and forth not between the bunker and the space gym de slime it it takes 15 robux to just speed up the process i don't mind doing it and so just gonna hop back and forth until we're able to get a red slime and then we can finally start the challenge no we got a 370 million purple slime one dang it's so close oh my gosh when i tell you this took like 50 slimes that's not a joke i probably spent been 700 robux de-sliming pets but all that matters is we finally got the ghost goliath pfizer fizzle jeez i can't even say it dominus 504 million multiplier pet making it the new ultimate pet in the game so let's go see how powerful it is on a brand new account all right here we go brand new account we have absolutely zero game passes no robux spent on it as you can see we have three pet equips but we happen to have not only a goliath ghost fire fizzle dominus we also have three best friend eight pets and if you don't know what best friend eight means it allows the pet to be 160 percent as powerful as my best pet so these are almost 1 billion multiplier each pets i think it's around 700 or 800 million multiplier each and so this with three pets is almost 2 billion stats worth of multiplier look, 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 look at this 3 billion look at that. i clicked the button once we get 3 billion strength we already with one click of my mouse we can already beat the final boss in this gym that's insane that is absolutely insane. So I'm going to do the same thing as the last time we did this challenge. I'm just going to see roughly how long does it take to beat the game. And by beating the game, I think I'm just going to say get to world seven because there's a good chance that it's only going to take me a few hours to get to world seven, but that it would take me like 10, 20 or 30 hours to get enough strength to beat the final boss in world seven. Alrighty, 16,000 wins means we can escape the first gym and we're on the gym too within like two minutes of this challenge. That is what I like to see. Now, what's really insane is that the last time I did this challenge, my team, with pretty much the same thing, it was a bunch of best friend sixes and the best pet in the game, we had a total of like 200 million stats for this team. So we have 10 times as much strength with these three pets than the time we previously did this challenge, which is already insane because over the last few updates, the developers have made this game a whole lot easier to beat for free-to-play players like my account is right now. And so we might be able to get to World 7 in like two hours. The biggest part is going to be getting wins because we know any winner winner teams we don't have any winner winner pets we don't have any wins potions that's gonna be the biggest you know barrier and bottleneck is we can get strength really 
really, really easily as you're seeing. But the main struggle point is going to be spinning all this time, AFK bosses, and uh, hopefully we don't have the super rebirth. Uh, rebirthing, I'm fine with that, but super rebirthing, ah, I'm not in the mood today to super rebirth. So I hope we don't have to do that in order to beat this challenge, which I don't think we will, because right now we have no arms. Keep in mind, we have no trails, we have no boost at all, and we are cruising. We are on the gym three. That took 90 seconds on a fresh account with the best pets. You're kidding me. So let's see. Knuckles are the best in this gym, and we're getting 1.2 trillion strength per punch. We can go ahead and, you know, start to pick up some things and use up all of our rust crates so we can, uh, oh, we can't even, we're so broke, we can't even buy any more rust crates. Jeez, we're doing a 70% void arm, and actually, let's go ahead and chuck on some rebirths right now while we have some wins. Oh my gosh, we're already getting an extra 200% strength. Woo! And let's see, free gives. I don't think these will really do anything for us. Oh, free daily wins pack. Don't mind if I do. All right, again, after another solid two minutes of training, we can already demolish the Kraken boss, but I will say, this is probably one of the most difficult gyms to escape because of the fact it's 16 billion wins every time you defeat the boss, but in order to escape, you need 16, what is it? No, 5 trillion wins. So let me go do that math real quick. Oh my gosh, we have to beat the Kraken boss 300 times in order to escape this gym. But honestly, I'm kind of getting faith of the fact that I'm not gonna have the super rebirth, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, I think once we can actually, wait, hold on, we can really quickly buy an additional uh, slightly better trail, so that'll help speed up the process. Yeah, now we have an extra one QA strength. Oh, and how could I forget? Uh, we also have uh, on PC the ability to use an auto clicker. So basically, we're getting the auto click game pass for free. But still, that doesn't change the fact that we have to sit here and wait for us to beat this guy a solid 300 times. So uh, I'll cut you guys when I have five trillion wins because I'm not going to make you sit through this. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, a solid, oh, what was this, like 30 minutes later? We finally got our 5.3 trillion wins that we needed, which means now we can afford a whole lot more rebirths. This is gonna help us out tremendously in getting strength in this gym. Dude, this button. If I have to press this button once this video, I'm gonna lose it because I've been super rebirthing so much over the last few weeks. I just can't take it. Oh my gosh. We only need 149 QA total strength and we are getting one QA every every curl, but that's obviously with the raw strength. We're getting like four QA every time we curl. I also want you guys to notice we have 0% friends boost. We have no one else in the server. It's just me right now. And uh, hopefully we should have some more crates. Yeah, we do have some gold crates. It is, oh, we can buy a ton of these. Perfect. Let's go and open up all these gold crates, see what arm we're going to get. Should help us out a ton. Ooh, 375% buff flame. That is beautiful. Now we are getting, let's see. Oh my goodness. 15 QA per curl. We can, okay, we've been in this gym. 60 seconds. Seconds, we can already beat the hardest boss. Oh my gosh, See, I'm telling you guys. I knew this is going to be a pretty short one because of how OP this current pet is, but also how easy they made these bosses in the later stages. But really quickly, I do want to see, can we get lucky? We'll have a 20% chance to get a better arm, this buff flame. Oh my God, it worked. I'm never this lucky. Now it is a 563% arm and we now have 669 QA strength. Oh my gosh, bro. That was actually so insane. Maybe an hour we've been on this account in this world. Uh, or actually, you can see we've been here for 44 minutes in total because of the 44% of the bottom. 44 minutes. And we already have enough strength to smoke the Mutant King. But how many wins does he give me? So for uh, this one here, we're going to get 240 QA wins. And we need 50 QI to escape. So again, we have to beat this guy an extra, I think it's 200 times. But I think because we're on such incredible pace, I might as well well try to see if we can't get winner winner on some pets and uh we're just gonna get a few wolves here because we definitely don't want to enchant our scorpion that would be a huge huge l so let's see wolf winner winner one i mean it's not bad like to be honest winner winner two though that's even better winner winner three that's even better oh wow it's so funny winner winner one two and three all right, so now our winner winner team should give us, yeah, I believe an extra 40% win. So we should only need to beat this boss a few, like, like around like 100 times. We do have to come back here though and max out our rebirths again, but that's not a problem with the insane amount. Oh my gosh, 1200% boost. Oh my gosh, every kill is gonna be 33 QA total strength. That is gnarly. Wow. All right, with 600 QA strength, let's chuck on our winner winner team. See how many wins. 
wins we get, it should be a 360 QA. Oh, 336. Almost right on the money. I'll take it. All right. So same thing. Just need to beat this guy a little over 100 times. And then we'll be moving on to World 5. Last time, it took me like 12 hours to get to World 5. We're going to be here. We're 47 minutes in. Within an extra 10 minutes, we'll probably be on our way to World 5. What in the world, bro? These pets are so OP. A few minutes later. Well, folks, I think we might be breaking some sort of record here. The fastest time to reach World 5 on a brand new account with no <laughs> Robux spent. This is absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and put on our strength team again and also quickly rebirth a bunch more. 1350. Ooh, we're kind of slowing down with the rebirths. Uh, but I think biceps are the best thing to train also in this arena. I'm just saying arena. It's a gym. Even I know that. All right, so I'm going to grab this, then grab that. Okay, we're getting a slight 40 QA per curl. That is ridiculous. And how much do we need to beat this guy? They did nerf it. Wait, one QI? Bro, I forgot. They nerfed this guy so much. It's 200 times easier to beat one QI. We'll have that. Two minutes, folks. We're 64 minutes into this challenge, and we are absolutely demolishing it. Oh, no. Dude, we don't have any diamond keys or platinums. I mean, it doesn't hurt to open a bunch of uh, golds, I guess, but ooh, the buff bio. I mean, even then, I don't know, golden, it wouldn't be that, that crazy. Ooh, trails. I forgot about trails. 15 QI. I'm like, I'm like shopping. I'm like a candy can used to work and that can be 250% boost. Oh yeah. Already 1.3 QI strength. We got the best arm, most rebirths, the best trails or anything else I'm forgetting. We're going so fast that I feel like I gotta be forgetting something. I don't know. I think that's about it. Now, if I'm not mistaken though, this next one is an absolute doozy. We have on our winner team. We can defeat the mammoth right here right now. We can defeat him, but that's not the problem. We have to get 500 SX wins and we only get 250 QIs. Oh my gosh. We have to beat this guy 2,000 times. So this is by far the most grindy boss in the game. Once you get here and you can beat him, that's great and all, but you can't really breeze through him. So because beating 2,000 bosses is going to take probably three, four hours, just, just off a rough guess, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to get a little bit more strength because over those 2,000 fights, if I can save literally a second or two per fight, that'll be shaving off. I'm not even joking, like hours of this challenge. So we'll get up to like 10 or 15 QI strength, which is way more obviously than we need to beat the mammoth. But hopefully then we can breeze through him and beat this guy and get enough wins. And I don't know, like, so like four hours, like <laughs> That's pretty optimistic. Actually, no, I'm an idiot. We only have three pet equips, but what we can do is we can get a total of four pet equips. And then with all of the wins that we have, we can get hopefully like an extra 100% boost on our wins. So that way we only have to beat them like a thousand times. That's so crazy. I almost just like forgot about the fact that like pet equips exist. So, okay, we were on pace for like a crazy speed run world record. We're, our pace is still amazing, but we're going to slow things down a little bit just so that in the long run, we'll save literally hours of our total time on this challenge so we're gonna go ahead and get uh probably just plus one pet equips and then try to get winner winner four on all of our pets which i believe would give us 120 percent total boost on wins which would be awesome so yeah i'll catch you guys when i've got my pet equip hey there we go our fourth pet equip has been unlocked so let's go ahead head back to the space gym where i'll do my absolute best job to get nothing but winner winner fours it might be a little difficult they're not super rare to find winner winner four pets but considering i don't have any of the enchantment luck super rebirth upgrades it might slow me down a little bit but still i've got some faith in myself all right, first one in the bag. Only three to go. Oh, wow. That second one actually came really fast. Maybe it won't take too long after all. Oh, my God. That was like instant. Wait, wait. Another one. Another one. Holy crap. As soon as I got the kelp, the other winner, winner, four one instantly popped up. Wow. What are the odds? There we go. A full team of winner, winner, four pets, giving us a total of 120% wins boost. So now let me go see how many times we're going to have to fight the, uh, what is it? The mammoth boss to escape to the sixth gym. All right. We went from 336 QI wins to, wait, 385 Q. Wait, what? I think we're only getting like 240 before. All right. After 
doing an updated, revised little bit of math. We're gonna have to beat this boss a solid um 1,300 times in order to escape. So still a lot, but we shaved off 700 total boss defeats. But again, we're gonna need to train up to like 10-ish QI strength using the barbell here in this bunker. But we'll head straight back to the beach or no, the dino world, my bad. And then we'll just sit here for a few minutes and then we'll AFK, I think for like two hours is how long it's gonna take. But again, crazy, 88 minutes into this world and within two more hours, we'll already be on to the sixth world. All right, 12 QI strength has to be more than enough to absolutely stomp through the mammoth. Let's see this. Oh yeah, we're chilling. All right, we're gonna leave this bad boy running to get 500 SX wins and uh, catch you guys in a few hours. Much, much, much later. Well, 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 would you look at that? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I yeah, might have might have gone to the gym, might have got a little workout in, which is why we're way over the wins we need. But still, we have 847 SX wins. We need 500, which means what pam we can go to world six. And I think we're probably only like four hours into this challenge. If you know, if I wouldn't have gone a little bit over, but per usual, let's see. Oh, platinum crate. Okay, so we're gonna buy all the crates we can. We're gonna open up everything here. Here. Wait, we have so many golden keys. What happened to everything else? Interesting. All right, let's roll this. We get a ooh. Ooh, actually, never mind. Buff primals. We could get uh okay, never mind. We could definitely get a gold version, but at least for now, the chrome arm train it up. We're up to 13.9 QI strength. And then let's see with our wins. We have 847 SX strength. What's the best bang for a buck? Honestly, probably this 55 SX strength. And then we can use the remaining wins at 1470%. Oh yeah, this is where it gets rough. This is exactly why I use Super Rebirth, but I'm gonna see if I get away with not Super Rebirthing. Don't know if it's possible, but again, we're gonna try. Now, this is what I was scared about because we need 2.8 SX total recommended strength. And it looks like for every grip, we're getting about 0.1 QI. So I would actually, oh no, I was wrong. It's gonna take me like hours and hours. I might need a full overnight AFK session actually to get enough strength to beat the cyber so we were really cruising through things, but uh, we've kind of hit a brick wall. Uh, we can go back to the space gym and see if we can't get some arms golden. That would definitely help. It's not gonna like fix our issue. Super rebirthing would fix our issue, but I am really stubborn and I don't think we need to. It just might take a little bit longer, which I think is fine. And then, oh, wait, wait, wait. Now that we have the extra pet equip, we can make a full team with an additional best friend aid. So right now we're getting plus 2A, plus 2QA. And let's see, let's make this new one equipped and oh wow that is like oh my gosh almost like a 30 percent increase in strength gain that is huge okay so then can we can we do a little bit of magic here i'm thinking first let's take a chance on these buff spikes success okay so now we can start messing with the, okay success wait did that work did that just work oh dude what the arm luck is crazy this video i can't believe it you guys just saw that but back to back to back with dude the odds of that is terrible i don't know how we just got so lucky and now i'm floating on top of the beach let's get it wait i'm actually stuck here i gotta wait do i have to log out oh, okay we're chilling never mind wait wait no. no wait usually with a game pass you can just re-teleport but i'm gonna lose my 150 percent strength boost it's not even my fault no way dude this is so unlucky all right well we know we are getting an absolute ton of strength and we'll be getting about plus four qa every time we use the grippers but we have the best arm possible the most rebirth the best trail actually we can upgrade our trail just a little bit not a huge but i mean hey every little bit counts and if i wasn't super stubborn and i wanted to spend the next few hours grinding super rebirth we could definitely progress a whole lot faster but i think i'm just gonna afk this probably overnight but if you guys remember the last time we did this it took us forever to get to world six and now we'll be able to get to world seven in a faster time which i would still consider a win so i'm gonna afk and see you guys later the next day. After a long and tedious night of grinding, we managed to smash the strength acquired of 2.8 SX. We have 11.2 SX strength, which means we can chuck on our winner winner team, defeat the cybernetic boss, and escape world six. How many wins did we get? Okay, so we need to beat him like two more times. It's, it's so funny. For world five to world six, you have to beat the guy like a thousand times. And from world six to world seven, they're like, yeah, three is good. Three should do it. Oh, wait, just kidding. I already have the wins. For some reason, I guess a bunch of luck 
lucky blocks spawn overnight. And I got a bunch of like wind packs or something because I have 8.0 wins. But here we go, world seven with about 16 hours on the clock. No Robux spent, no game passes, just some good pets is all. And let's see. Okay, so we can't beat anyone. Now this is pretty much what I knew was gonna happen. We we're gonna get here. And then in order for me to actually beat anyone, we'd have to rebirth. Oh wait, we can snag this trail. Okay, now we're up to 12.2 SX strength. And all that's left for us to do is rebirth, but that's where we have to super rebirth and yada yada. If we wanted to beat world seven, I'd have to spend a literal like week grinding this. But I feel like getting to world seven within just 16 or so hours with four of the best pets in the game is already impressive as is. So I'll consider this challenge defeated and another dub under my belt. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where we are on another brand new bacon hair noob account. But we've got some tricks up our sleeves to hopefully beat the game in a pretty fun and unique way. Because after every five minutes, we'll be getting a brand new game pass within the game to hopefully allow ourselves to beat Arm Wrestling Simulator and to reach World 7. And oh, that's not all. I've also transferred just a few of the best pets in the game from my main account to this account to make sure that we aren't here for absolutely ages. But really quickly, before we get started with the challenge, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that just under 10% of everyone watching this video right now is subscribed to the channel. And my big goal is to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And so if you would consider subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it. But let's get on with the challenge. But so we're starting off with just three pet equips. But even then, we have 1.5 billion total strength. And uh, yeah, with just those three curls, we can already beat the champion. Now, uh, the biggest thing is going to be the fact that we get no win. So I really hope early on that we either get the VIP pass so we can beat bosses faster or the double wins game pass or honestly the all potions forever because then we can get the double wins potions. I mean, I did transfer over a few of the winner, winner pets to my other account, but it's not really going to make a huge difference on this account. Yeah, we get a little bit more wins. Ah, just it's so slow though. Oh my God. Gosh, and no OP auto click. We have absolutely nothing. Getting all the way to world seven is going to take so long. We need some of these game passes ASAP. This should be enough wins though to escape the first gym. And I know what you're thinking. Yo, Quacks, that was only like two minutes. That was so fast. But trust me, this challenge still could take way longer than you're thinking. But let's go and chuck on our strength team. Auto train our biceps. Okay, yeah. We're still absolutely just freezing through the strength. Let's put on a winner winner team what are we gonna get 3.5 million wins see like this is gonna be the thing i'm just gonna be so down bad on wind it's gonna take me forever oh i need some potions asap or just just anything really just please some pet equips something something please oh i need one of these game passes all right luckily we're out of world on the world three and for knuckles oh wait we can just probably already yeah go to the very end put on our strength team oh wait dude we're actually kind of slowing down oh wait we haven't rebirthed at all that should help us out wait dude, we're actually kind of struggling a little bit or at least more than i thought we would i mean dude we have a 1.5 billion multiplier stat team right here oh we also have zero arms that probably doesn't help okay let me at least get something a 17 percent void arm sure i i guess that'll do something oh it is the five minute mark which means we can spin for the first game pass Come on. What are we going to get? I believe there's like 14 or 15 different options. <gasps> no, that's the worst one. That's not what I need. That's such a waste of Robux. I'm literally, dude, I'm literally throwing away Robux. 8x hatching. Oh my gosh. Well, the wheel said I have to buy it. So I have to buy it. And the worst part is, I don't even need to open eggs. I don't need to open eggs on this account. No. Listen, gamers, I'm probably going to waste so many Robux for this challenge. So the least you can do is just drop a like on this video to ease my pain and suffering. And maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, got some slightly better arms, slightly better trails. Okay, yeah, that helped us out a ton. Wow, dude, the VIP pass or the bad dude. Either of these would be so clutch right now. Oh my God. How much longer am I gonna have to wait? It's been so long since I've seen this countdown timer because of the uh, the VIP pass. Oh my gosh, each one of these fights is uh, taking a little bit longer than I'm used to. 
All right, man, we've been auto fighting this Kraken boss for a few minutes, and that's not a good sign because we are taking way longer than we should to get the five trillion wins we need to move on to world four. But while we continue to auto fight, we can go ahead and spin, please. VIP, VIP, double wins, double wins, VIP, double wins, double keys. Oh, no, teleport, you're trolling. This is, that's even worse. What's the point? Luckily, I get to remove it. Instant void, instant, what? Instant void, I'm just, I'm literally, I'm 0 for 2 right now on useful game passes. Instant void, all hatched gold pets will become void sick. 500 Robux down the absolute Drano. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna go back to find this Kraken boss for five minutes and uh, I'll see you then when I can get another wheel spin. Five minutes later. Alrighty gamers, five minutes later. Oh, that is sweet news to my ears because we can skedaddle back on over to the wheel. Please, please, please give me something I can actually use for this challenge. Double keys, of course. Teleport, teleport, teleport. I'm, yeah, dude, this is, this is going not to plan. This, thankfully that one's cheap. Like, I guess the saving grace is like, yeah, this is 49 Robux and the other ones have been super expensive. But I need something like, there are, there are genuinely useful ones. Like again, double wins. I even threw in just double wins potions. The all potions from, this is 2,500, so expensive. Don't care, I threw in plus two pet equips. There's double hand strength, VIP, but there's so many useful ones. And they're just like, you know what? Ah, we'll give you teleport game pass. How about that one, bucko? Dude, this is gonna be such a long challenge and I'm very not ready for it. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in, in uh, five, five more minutes. All right, I'm losing count. I think we're going on to wheel spin number four here. I'm praying, I'm hoping. Give me something good, something that will help me beat these bosses faster. Give me more wins. Pet equips, I will take that plus two pet equips. Now, I do want to note that every time I do get plus two pet equips, this will stay on the wheel because I do have a feeling that there is a chance this challenge will be a very, very long one. And so we will be picking up plus two pet equips. And so for at least right now, that is very helpful because that means I can add two more winner winner pets to my team. So that way we get an extra. These are winner winner four pets. So that means we get 60% more wins, which is really huge. And in terms of getting more strength, that is, you know, huge, huge, huge numbers for the strength side of things. We went from getting 26 billion to 42 billion wins, basically doubling the amount of wins, which is basically double wins game pass. But yeah, I'm a little scared if we run out of game passes and we're still not progressing fast enough. Pet Eclipse is pretty much the only thing that'll help us beat the game faster. So I'm kind of keeping these guys as like my little secret weapon, where if we're super down bad, I'm I'm gonna need to call on him. We also get two absolutely massive wins at the same time. We get five trillion wins, which means we can move on to world four and we get to spin the wheel again. Please just VIP. I just want to be special. I want to be cool and Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, okay, you know what? I, if I can avoid spending 2,500 Robux, that's cool me. Double wins potions, that's also fine with me because just buying these double wins potions, it's only like 149 Robux and you get two and a half hours worth of these double wins potions. And that is absolutely huge for us. And let's see though, what is our strength looking like? I mean, let's get our trail. I mean, our, our arms are abysmal. Okay, so we can get a better arm, right? Okay, a much better arm. Arm. Rebirth, we can chuck that bad boy. Not by a lot. Oh, don't tell me I have the super rebirth. I wasn't looking forward to that. Oh, wait, I forgot. In this gym, I only need like 140 QI or QA or whatever to, to escape. So that's not bad at all. But dude, I, I'm definitely gonna have to do a few super rebirths. That's not gonna be fun. Well, I'm gonna put off super rebirth thing as long as I can. See if we can at least get some better arms in the meantime or see how far we can progress. I mean, we're getting like one QI wins though. This is this is pretty solid. I'm I'm liking this. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my gosh, wait. I completely forgot there's the Christmas event going on and the calendar gives a bunch of free juicy goodies. Yes. Wait, it's lagging. Why is it lagging? I don't like that it's lagging. I want all my goodies. I want my pet equips, dude. They give you plus two pet equips and then plus three pet equips and then a bunch of Christmas keys and then a bunch of candy coins. And, bro, why am I not getting my, my pet equips? Well, what is going on? Okay, well, we got all of our pet equips. We're up to 10 pet equips. Let's go. And my game is a bugging out. Well, in the meantime, it is time to spin the wheel again. Let's see. What are we going to get? Please, 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 please. 
Double. Oh, yes. Double wins pass. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Double wins game pass. Just kidding. My game is absolutely tripping out right now. What is happening? I have no clue what was going on there, but the double wins game pass has been secured. So is everything else on the calendar? So let's go and spin all on the wheel. We get a bunch of candy coins. We have 19 crates. So let's go and use all these keys as well. Oh, beautiful. That should be a golden arm. Maybe. Just maybe, ah, dude, it's a gamble because I could get a golden 600% arm. You know what? We'll just take this. Oh, let's go. Just with two, we get a golden 600% arm. Amazing. And then now our pet teams can have like 10 of each. And so now what are we getting? With the double wind game pass with the pet equips, we're getting 10 Q. What? Oh my gosh. With the potions with the pass, 10 Q. Are you like, okay, now we might. Be able to beat this challenge. Now we might be able to beat this challenge. Literally, one game pass is all it took. And I'm back believing, folks. We are back on the believer side of things. Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. Now let's see what is the strength things looking like. We do have an absolutely insane 3x all stats boost. Now that is it's gonna help us out a little bit. Let's make sure our strength team is on. It is on. We are getting full. Uh, point we're basically getting point three qi every curl uh but let's make sure let's rebirth a few times we can get up to 11 12 13 1300 percent and then for trails we can get a little bit better trail but all in all not amazing but it literally doesn't matter because for this world all i need is one qi total strength so we can just sit here with our winner winner squad and destroy this mammoth how many wins are we gonna get 8sx oh that's actually insane yeah we might actually whoa whoa what is happening I don't know what's happening, but we might be on to World 6 in just a few short minutes, which is crazy because I thought this was going to take hours. What happened? Yo, shout out the Christmas advent calendar. This Christmas event is crazy OP. But honestly, we might get a little stuck in World 6 and I might have to do some super rebirths, uh, but I hope that's not the case. While we're AFK in World 6, we can hop on over because it is time to spin the wheel again. You know what? That That's right that's about right give me that vip please 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 no <gasps> Oh my god, dude, it actually almost just handed me pet storage. I would have lost it, dude. Now we are moving. We are moving. We are grooving. I'm feeling it. Let's see. VIP, it gives us 3x training and a one second cooldown. So now we can beat bosses like 50% faster and we can train three times as fast. So we just we just progress throughout the game so much faster with VIP. Oh my gosh, dude, we're, we're just chilling. We're chilling. We're vibing. Oh man. Man, we are absolutely in this to win this. It started off so rough, which is crazy. And then maybe like five more minutes, we might actually be out of this world. All right, I was AFK wins because I forgot that they lowered the requirements only 500 SX. So not only can we escape to the void, as I believe it, it is called the void world six. Oh my goodness. But also let's go gamers. Another wheel spin. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. Well, uh. It, it was about time that we get something we didn't actually need. Magic eggs? What even is that? Magic eggs. Oh my god, it's a thousand Robux. Chance of hatching void and golden pet. Oh, dude. It's like the most expensive crappy thing on here, man. But I'm true to my word. I mean, the rest of everything else isn't even that expensive. And then it's just, boom, this thing over here is just way too expensive. So I hope we honestly don't even land on that. But let's see. Put on our strength team. Dude, we're getting strength kind of fast we only need 2.8 sx total strength to get out of here and we're actually kind of cruising right now we have one wait 1.3 sp wins Jeez. okay so we'll invest in a new trail that's for sure i'm thinking 120 sx is gonna give me the best bang for the buck arms crates ah oh, dude we're just down bad i mean with my candy i i, I could oh it's a 0.1 percent for the keys oh i could buy 20 spins that I, I didn't even get a single 
key. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Well, arm game down pretty bad. I guess the last thing we can do is regular rebirth. Yeah, didn't, didn't really need to do that one. We are getting two QI every single time we use the grippers, which is pretty good. But it's so funny because this right here would give us 2x, 2x everything. Oh my gosh. Or even just a double hand strength, like please. I mean, regardless, we're, we're definitely gonna be here a while, which is fine because we're gonna test our luck one more time. There's like three things I actually need and that is one of them. Plus two pet equips. I will take it. Thank you very much. I will not remove it. We're gonna close it. Go back over here to the store. Schmack on plus two pet equips for a measly 129 Robux. Thank you very much. And I didn't think I'd even get this far. So I only have best friend sixes, which are still 110% as powerful as our best pets so these are still like 600 million multiplier pets which definitely still help out but like man i just i know i i just have to super rebirth if i really want to like if i really want to speed this up but by the time i super rebirth and i get all the way back here and i do all this grinding if i just sat here and grinded my butt off anyways i would probably have ended up getting here in the same time anyways Ooh, a free egg. Wait, what egg is this? The star dog. Dang, 200k. That's pretty good for a free egg. In total, oh my gosh, we've only defeated 300 bosses. That is, that is insane. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, right now, this is kind of slow. Uh, please, please, please. Training speed increase. That is not anything to do with the training speed. But you know what it does have to do with rebirthing, and that is cool because I am going to start rebirthing and super rebirthing god i just i can't avoid it man i just i can't no matter what i do in life everything always just comes back to super rebirthing and i don't freaking like it but i always have to do it and i don't want to do it but oh we're back to the start and it's so sad man <laughs> it's so sad but uh, at least auto rebirth it's cheap it's so useless too it's such a very useless uh game pass if i had to be honest but listen let's speed run this bad boy let's see what we can't do only one win needed to escape the school put back on the strength team go to biceps go back here oh that's amazing i love the new change bada bang we're out 84 million wins we can teleport to the beach yes we can we can train knuckles we can go to strength we can uh put on this trail spam up a bajillion reavers arms we already have the best arm of the game holy crap that's so much strength where did that strength come from put on our winner winner team and how many wins do we get almost a trillion that's cool with me honestly not too bad i'm gonna grind this uh a few times i'll just keep you guys updated on the wheel spins and uh let's see how many super rebirths we can do in about half an hour one hour later oh that sucks dude that sucks i did not want to spend that many robux all right i now have a hundred thousand potions cool and i only needed wins potions and i already had more than i needed woohoo all right, back to rebirthing. Let's go. All right, we are about to be six super rebirths in, which means a permanent 600% strength boost when we are training. But also what would be amazing is a permanent double strength boost when training. Oh, amazing. Just kidding. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not really what we needed because I don't really ever use... I'm out of Robux again? Oh, that pass was so expensive, dude. This just sucks because I like never use the hand grippers because they're like kind of mid but i guess i can start using them if i'm getting double the strength on them they, they, they i guess they're pretty good all righty it's not that i'm not hyped okay it yeah it's just there's i've kind of got everything i need from this wheel and uh what the, the, there's five left and the things that are left are just not gonna help me a whole lot i think i'm gonna do a few more super reapers and then i'll probably have everything i need to grind all the way back up to world six and then to get to world seven to officially defeat the game but i think it's fun though is, is how crazily hard it is to get arms and crates in this game it just it feels way harder than it should be or maybe that's just me talking i don't know what i'm talking about but at least the first few super rebirths are, are pretty easy i i will say that much you just kind of get i think it's like two or three trillion wins you spam up a bunch of rebirths 
and then yeah it's it's really easy after the first like 15 or so then it gets really difficult but trust me i don't think we need to go that far or at least i hope i don't have to go that far but there's only four more game passes left to go well we ended up with a total of 12 super rebirths which i think should be enough to get us all the way to the end please there's a 20 percent chance i just want the extra everything you need this one this one this one this one this one keep going keep going yes okay we can just we can just stop here how about that i would be totally fine not getting another game pass cool with me but obviously that's not how it works and the reason i want this is because it gives you 2x bicep power and 2x knuckle strength so it basically just gives you 2x strength for everything and bro i've had a robux again all right with that finally out of the way i think we'll have everything we need to get to world 7 and to call this challenge a success so let's put on our strength team one more time and just kidding put back on our wins team but only for a short little while because we're quickly making our way back to world 4 and with just a few wins here in world 4 we'll be on our way to world 5 and i can already tell we're getting so much more strength than we were before we just need wait we already have 21 qi strength wait we don't even have a game strength in world 5 we're gonna send straight to fighting the mammoth i think like 50 yeah 50 ish times and we'll wait for that fight to complete ah nice double keys i mean listen what the wheel we gotta we have to complete the wheel well, what's the point of this challenge if we don't complete the wheel i think yeah it was double keys i'm, I'm just kind of forgetting at this point because none of them really matter all that's left is fast hatch and triple eggs two that i literally don't need at all so the sooner we can beat this challenge the better oh my goodness back in world six just like i never left and let's see i think the hand strength grips are the best thing in this world oh my god what the eight qi okay yeah i'm super glad we made the decision that's not even rebirthing as well not even super rebirthing 23 24 25 26 20 2700 total percent what are we getting nine qi every single time we use the hand grippers what about the trails we can get 120 s Sex. we're already up bro we're getting 14 that 14 fit 14 14 qi every curl oh my gosh yeah i was wrong i think super rebirthing was the right choice so uh maybe a few minutes doing this I, I i don't even know we definitely have enough time to do one more wheel spin what is it gonna be ah oh, dude it's it's the most like at least give me two more pet equips so i can do this a little bit faster okay all right i'll spin more robux on arm wrestling simulator whatever well 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 looks like we have ourselves some perfect timing because we just reached 3.5 sx strength and we can also do one final wheel spin to empty hopefully empty it out oh that okay that is pretty sweet we've already got the plus two pet equips two times so we're gonna assume that is empty fast hatch will mean we will have purchased every single game pass in arm wrestling simulator and once we beat I don't even oh my gosh I forgot the name of this guy what's his name cyber oh dude cybernetic I remember when he was the toughest boss for the uh, for the longest while dude he's still tough holy crap he's putting up a good fight but we are tougher oh we just got so much stuff what the heck 528 SP wins which means we can go on to world 7 and this challenge is completed I mean one way or the other we we were gonna get to world 7 but how much strength 51.7 SX I swear man if I just had like a better arm i feel like i could actually like beat some of these bosses but for the sake of this video beating dr propulsion would take literally days on this account and uh i feel like getting to world 7 is a big enough challenge as it is and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any more noob to pro challenges within the game and with all that being said it's been boy quacks and i'll catch you guys in the next one